Uh, I don't even know what an IEO is. Are you going to talk about it? <laughs> I think it's so dumb. I just I don't even know what to say about it. Um, well, we're just going to jump right into this topic. Uh, my name is Samson Williams from Axis and Eggs. Uh, we're a think tank and digital advisor here in Washington, D.C. Um, I'm here with uh, Dr. Marat. Um, Hello. She's from Crowdy Advisor. She's principal advisor. She has some strong feelings about IEOs, uh, initial exchange offerings. And so, what are those strong feelings? Well, I, I don't know if they're <laughs> strong feelings, but I think the main thing or the main feeling I have about IEOs is that it's just another term to try to make something that has already been done sound like it's different. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I think it's an IEO is essentially an ICO known by another name. <laughs> and, now, and now that we have all these different... Um, you know, ways for people to try to avoid having to deal with, um, you know, rules and regulations. So I think that's why every so often we get a new term. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's not that different. Yes. So I will agree with her that um, IEOs, initial exchange offerings, are a new twist on an old game of pump and dump. So for initial coin offerings, you had lots of people who were pumping and dumping. And what that means is, is that they would flood the market I rather they would purchase a coin low, get other people excited, which would drive the price up, and then when the price ten x hundred x, they dump it. Mm-hmm. And so, initial an initial exchange offering, they're not actually they don't occur in the U.S. Right. Because in the U.S., that funding platform or that funding portal, the exchange would be registered as a funding platform or a funding portal. They'd be um, regulated by the SEC or the CFTC. So they couldn't actually do the initial exchange offering as it's done, say, by Binance uh, overseas. So when you hear initial exchange offerings, those are to the exclusion of American citizens, right? Uh, also Chinese typically, um, because they're unregulated. So just keep that in, in mind. At a very high level, when you hear initial exchange offering, if you're based in the U.S., you're not permitted to per- to participate because the exchanges know that the Securities and Exchange Commission, NASA, the North American Securities Administration, the FTC, the CFTC, the consumer, the CFPB, a lot of acronyms. Would yeah, like. FinCEN. They all <laughs> yeah. they're all interested, and they all um, you know have claimed some jurisdiction in this space. And their position is essentially, even if you are, you know, operating somewhere else, if you're spending money somewhere else, if you are a U.S. person participating in any of these activities, then they have jurisdiction. Yeah. So those are our quick thoughts on what are IEOs. Um, we encourage you all to go on our website, get a copy of our of our workbook, Jobs Act Equity and Debt Work Equity and Debt Crowdfunding Workbook. If you happen to be in New York, June first. Um, and periodically, we'll be having our crowdfunding masterclasses for people who want a little bit deeper dive to understand what do they need to do to situate themselves to take advantage of financing or funding their business through crowdfunding. Anything else you want to add? No, nope, nothing else. That's it.